Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from in the whole wide world. This is Mad Pixie with another Phoebe Palmer video. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a time lapse. Now, when I first started uh, doing the Phoebe Palmer videos and using the Phoebe Palmer, I couldn't figure out how to do hyperlapse lapse or time lapse. I watched all the videos, but I don't know about you, they were coming out one or two seconds long. This video, I'll show you exactly what to do and how to make them last a little bit longer. Alright then guys, so I'll stick around and I'll see you in a bit. As you can see guys, I've uh, got it on the time lapse mode in the Phoebe Palm. It's uh, on the window, stuck uh, with a suction cup, but it's got this little uh, hole so you can't see it. It's just focusing right on the screen. So yeah, like I said, this is in the time lapse mode. Uh, what you've got to pay attention more, sorry, you've got a cat walking across. <laughs> yeah, what you've got to do uh, first is pay attention to that one there where it says 20 seconds that's the one that you want to worry about and also the 10 minutes that's how long you want your time lapse to last let me just pop that down a bit so you can see the uh, numbers a bit better then you'll know what I'm on about there you go sorry about the rubbish in the garden <laughs> I did some gardening the other day anyway like I said the 10 minutes and the 20 seconds that's the ones you want to worry about the one second one, I think, is how many pictures it's taken in each frame. Now, if you want to change the amount of time you want your time lapse to last, all you've got to do is click on the little timer, and there's a little like a little lie there, a little dial, and all you do is move that, slide it up and down. See how it's gone from 10 seconds for every picture. That is two second time lapse. So if you want to get about 10 seconds, just move your slider up and down till you get to 10 seconds. I've gone too far. <laughs> it is quite fiddly at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's normally quite good. I need to go the other way. Whoa, six seconds. Turn one. I got it bang on earlier. Five, six, ten. There you go. 10 seconds that's 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 at 10 minutes now i'm going to do, going to do is do a time lapse for one hour i've already done a motion lapse time lapse for one hour i'll do that in a separate video show you how to do a motion lapse but i'm going to put that on for an hour 10 seconds move it up don't want to see don't want to see the old i'm going to put that up there Go up like that. That's the sky. There you go with the trees. There's no clouds in sky now. <laughs> well, I did, did one earlier, which I will put in a motion lapse in, and uh, I did it, and it was brilliant. All the clouds moving and everything, but you'll only see the leaves blowing in the trees. But it did look absolutely awesome. In that last one, so what you do is I can't, I can't see the numbers now. Uh, timer 10 minutes, so put that whoops for one hour. One hour now, see how that's gone for one minute. Obviously, I don't want it to be for one minute, so I'll go back on here. I'll just scroll along till it gets down. Let's go further, so I'll go the other way. 17 9 minutes, 9 seconds that's an hour 30 seconds intervals every photo and it is for a nice second at time lapse so I'll press that record and I'll...